salvation is in the house. You don't have to be carried away by that slippery slope this morning. The Lord is saying salvation is in the house. So shout it loud. Shout it loud. Salvation is in the house.
Lord. Yes, Praise right. the Lord. We read alternate verses from Second Kings chapter seven. said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, Tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gates of Samaria. to another, why sit we here until we die? Uttermost part of the camp of Syria, behold, there was no man there. For the Lord had made the host of the Syrians to hear the noise of chariots and the noise of horses, even the noise of a great host. And they said one to another, Lo, sitting on the earth are higher than in us, sitting on the sea side, and the kings of the twilight, and left their tents, and their horses, and their horses, even the camp as it was, and fled for their life. And when we left our stay to the uttermost part of the camp, they went into one tent, and did eat and drink, and carried them silver and gold and raiment, and went and did it, and came If we tarry till the morning light, some mystery will come upon us. Now, therefore, come, that we may go and tell the king, the king's household. So they came and called unto the porter of the city, and they told them, saying, We came to the camp of the Syrians, and lo, there was no man there. Let the voice of the man.
the Lord. Uh, and he said, a certain man had two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country. And there wasted his substance with worthless living. And when he had spent, and when he had spent all there arose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. of the Lord. Praise God bless you, Sister Clayton. Praise God for reading our morning lesson. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise God. And as we read, and if you were following, praise God, concerning even those lepers, according to law, they were not allowed to go into the city. But they were hungry. Praise God. So they made a choice. They decide, we're not going to stay at the gate here and die because we want to live. So our preacher will shed some light on these scriptures. Praise God, as we read them. David said in the book of Psalm 118, 17, I shall not die, but I shall live and declare the works of the Lord. Oftentimes our, as Christians, some some things coming to our life. We face some situation, our situation that rock the core, praise God, of our faith. But we have to make the choice. I shall not die. It's a personal decision. I shall not die, but I shall live and declare the words of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise his worthy name. So at this time, Sister Darcy, Sister Davis will be coming to do our day's welcome. Praise. We bless the name of the Lord. We worship the name of Jesus. Praise God. Let us all stand and welcome the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. going to call those names, and when I call those names, you keep standing while we give you a Makaros Worship Center um, welcome. Miss Atalia, Miss Kayla and daughter, Miss Kareen, Mr. John and Miles, you are not visitors. Mr. David Brown, Miss Chantal Thompson, Miss Kay, let us give them all a Makarath Worship Center welcome. You are all welcome in the house of the Lord today. And you are at the right place, at the right time, with the right people. Bless the name of the Lord. You will sit, not relax, but sit and worship God with us today. And as the word came, salvation is in the house. 
So anyone is considering to go that, down that slippery road, just reconsider. I know that God is here and salvation is also here. That's your murderer. God, at this time, I'm going to ask Evangelist Jay Thompson to pray for the preacher, the choir, and the day's tithes and offering. So after this song, during um, this song, I'm going to ask, bless the name of the Lord, glory to God, our ushers to collect the day's tithes and offering. And the next voice you'll hear will be the voice of the preacher. God bless you. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before thee. Ah, you are God and you are Jehovah. Father, as the offering is placed before you, Lord, hallelujah. See if I will not open unto you the windows of heaven. My God, Jesus, there are so many persons in this congregation that have experienced the press down. Majored, hallelujah, running over, my God. We have experienced it, Lord. And so, Father, I pray that thou will continue to breathe, hallelujah, upon this offering as your people give, Lord God, from a willing heart. We come to you as a congregation, and I pray, Holy Spirit, that your anointing will be over us as we stretch to your word. Lord, the choir is about to minister in song. Hey, hallelujah. You are God. You are Jehovah. My God, hallelujah. We rejoice in thee. Lord, with thanksgiving, we come to their house. We come with a rejoicing. We come with a praise. We come with joy. We come with singing. We come with thanksgiving. And so, God, as the choir ministers in song, I pray, Holy Spirit, that your anointing will flow through the choir and it flow within the congregation. My God, and your people will rejoice in God. Hallelujah. Because you are our God. Now, Lord, the minister, hallelujah. My God, hallelujah will be coming, Holy Spirit of God. Hey, hallelujah. We lift our hands to thee today, Lord. And we say, God, bless the speaker. Deliver the speaker. Speak through your person. Holy Spirit of God. This is the church of the living God. You said the gates of hell shall not, must not, will not prevail. Hallelujah, because we are built up on the rock. And so, Lord God, as your servant come, hallelujah, everything that come against the person's spirit, Lord, the congregation, hallelujah, is in one accord. Lord God, and rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Anything, Lord, that comes to pull down, hallelujah, anything that comes to upset, my God, hallelujah. If there is a sickness lurking around, we burn it in the name of Jesus. Lord, God, and I ask, Lord, for utterance and deliverance. And as this person speak, Lord, my God, the congregation will be receptive, will be open to your word. Breathe upon him, Lord. The voice of the speaker is the voice of God. And so, God, I pray, Lord, as we come into this atmosphere, oh, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, Holy Spirit, take over, Holy Spirit, speak, Holy Spirit, move, you are God, show yourself as God today, Lord. And so, God, we pray the anointing. Come on, church of God, lift your hands. Hallelujah. We pray the anointing. Hallelujah. We pray utterance. Hallelujah. We pray deliverance Hallelujah. upon the speaker today. Hallelujah. And the church say, Amen. 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 Hallelujah.
Lord Jesus. Thank we you, love Lord. him today. Hallelujah. Amen. We exalt the name of Jesus. Amen. We crown our king this morning. Come on, lift up your hands and worship the Lord. Hallelujah.
is always a chance. Yes. Yeah, man. Always a privilege. Today is the day of salvation. And the Lord wants to show you and to hide you from this storm that is coming your way. If you say, Lord, Shelter me, Jesus. We are going to pray with you and for you because your soul is precious. All God's people should be ready to pray. Come on. Shelter.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for watching over my life. Thank you, Jesus. I must live. I shall not die. I must live in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe in you. I must live in the mighty name of Jesus.
support. They will speak in this word today in support. I talked about in May. I asked about to be very observant. Allow the word to work. Hallelujah. 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 Allow the word to work. The word, the word is enough. The word is enough. The power, deliverance, salvation in the word of God. We'll not cut it. We'll not trim it today. Hallelujah. So be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My God, everybody stand to your feet as the speaker will be coming forward. Praise his name. As we are hoping our mouth. Amen. Praise God. Together. Refuse to die. Come on. Refuse to die. Determined to live. Again. Refuse to die. Determined to live. Refuse to die. Determined to live. Come on, clap your hands and shout. <laughs> Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and magnify the Lord. Come on and exalt the name of Jesus. My God, what a love. What a love. What a love. The love of God. The love of God. The love of God. My sister, that's the love of God. My sister, yes. that's the love of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. What a love. My God, my God, in the name of Jesus. This time, Deacon Thompson. Amen to the congregation. The congregation, the Thompson in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Shall we worship the Lord? Shall we glorify his name? Shall we lift him up? We give a praise of shout. A praise of thanksgiving. Thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank the Lord. Thank you. You can be seated. Thank you. Lord, I just want to greet our old pastor and his wife. Additional pastor and his wife. Deacon missionary. wonderful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Thank the Lord for this day that we can come into his house to worship, to praise, to glorify, to lift up his name. My God, thank him for his word to our heart, refuse to die. Mighty God, I think we see the full display of it already. Refuse to die, determined to live. One of the questions is, how can you refuse to die, you know? Yeah. When it says it is appointed unto man wants yeah. to die, after there came the judgment, my God, but we are speaking of a spiritual death, Amen. most likely, you know, a Amen. spiritual death, which we can refuse, Amen. because he gave us two choices. He said, this is um, life, give us the package of life, the package of death. So the wages of sin yeah, is death. Yeah. Right? But the gift, so we have two packages. And I think it's only an ignorant person who choose, who choose um, what you have to work hard for over a gift. If you can get a gift and don't have to work for it, why should you choose that one? And more so, the wages that it brings, the pay that it gives yes. is the what? Yes. Death. Yes. So you're working for death when you can have the package of life, which is free. You know? He said he come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. My God. So why should I refuse such a package? Life more abundantly, life everlasting with the Father. Life to reign and live with him forevermore. Hallelujah. My God. So why should I work for death? Oh my God. Mighty God. Death is what you work for. Oh Lord. As you have to say, that, you know, the, the 
works of the flesh. So it's all about works for, for, <laughs> for sin. It's all about works. We're laying out the, the different things, the works of the flesh, but what the fruit of the spirit. So here we are saying, as Elisha, one that was called by God, mighty God, as in First Kings, I think First Kings 19 was his calling, where it was flowing, you know. And after Elijah, a man of God that's so strong, powerful, mighty God, after he slew how many prophets of Baal, you know, called out fire from heaven, but one little woman called him to want to take his life, to give it up, to throw it away. My God, the Lord said unto him, go on a night. Three persons, and one of them was Elisha. Mighty God, because he should be his successor. He should be the one that would carry out the work after he leaves this earth. And we can see where Elisha, he was anointed. The man of a determination that whatever he saw in Elijah is not going to let it die. Not going to let it leave behind. He has a determination that I'm going to pick it up. Not only is I'm going to pick it up, but I want to double whatever I do. A determination, a desire to fulfill the call of God and his life. Mighty God, and we can see the many obstacles, barriers, the own prophet, the sons of the prophet, even his own tried to stop him. But the man of a determination. He said, I am determined, whatever it takes, whatever it costs. My God, I have to have this double portion. He look into himself, Jordan will not stop me. Hallelujah. My God, this is not where my purpose is. My purpose is not at Jordan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My purpose is not here, so brother, sister. Hallelujah. Whatever you are backed up with, you are called by God. Hallelujah. Let nothing detour you from your calling. Let nothing detour you from your purpose. Hallelujah. Mighty God, I am determined. Whatever it takes to break, whatever it takes to make me to what God called me to be, I'm purposeful in my heart that I'm going to pursue it. I'm going to endure long suffering, mighty God, because what? My purpose not going to, my, my circumstance not going to determine my purpose. Because I have a full relationship with God. And I know what I'm called for. I know my purpose, what I'm called for. Mighty God, when Elisha looked, there were many things happening, my God, in Israel. Holy Spirit, barren ground, mighty God, bitter waters, you name it. The list goes on. And he said, no, if when Elijah gone, all of this is going to die. No, I'm going to pick up the mantle. I'm going to run with the word. I'm going to run with purpose. I'm going to run with healing. I'm going to run with deliverance. It shall not die, will not die. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mighty God, I'm going to go all the way. Mighty God, I'm going to give it all. Whatever it takes, I'm going to hold on to the end. My God, and we can see because of the man's determination Thank you. that brother, Elijah, you're gone. Mm -hmm. You are gone, but I'm going to pick it up the mountain. Yeah. And we can see, as I said, the prophet tried to stop him, the sons of the prophet. You know, some of their commentators will say they were, they were student prophet. Yeah. And these, you know, but they could not detour him from his purpose. And so it is with us in the house of the Lord when we have a call on our life. My God, our home will try to stop the purpose. Just as the prophet, the son of the prophet tried to stop the man of God's purpose. But he said, no, but then, no matter, it make no sense. Clearly what he was saying, it make no sense. You're trying to stop me. Because I have a determination, I have a desire that when Elijah gone, the work just continue. Because I need that double portion and need that anointing to carry out the work of the Lord. And we can see as he follow on and even Elijah said, know it not, but say, yes, master, but what? I have a determination. Mighty God, I need that double portion. And as he crossed Jordan, my God, and the chariot, fire of chariot, my God, take away the man of God. He cried out, hallelujah. Give that time we have to cry out when you need something. 
You have to cry it out. You have to search. You have to dig. Hallelujah. Mighty God, there is about to be a cry in our spiritual life. But we come to that place of thirstiness, of barrenness, mighty God, to push through, to push forward to what we want to achieve in God. If we want to achieve anything, it takes a fight, it takes a push, it takes a desire, determination to go for it, whatever it may cost. We are going to go for it in full. Mighty God, just as our way to pursue our life career. And no challenge can stop us if we pursue God same way, the same way. Mighty God, to fulfill its purpose. My God, and we can see the work because the man received that double portion. And it returned in joy that the river stands before him. Holy Father, but my God, he called, we are the God of Elijah. He called out to the one that he know, the one that he learned from. Mighty God, so we are the leaders. Or whoever I lead on whatever you are placing, my God, to lead. Amen. Lead with an example and a life that somebody can emulate you and follow your calling. Somebody can want what you have. Yes. Mighty God. Because the life of this year, what the man have. He yes. said, whatever you have, brother, you're not going up with it. I need it. Hallelujah. Mighty God, because here's the work to be done. Hallelujah. Mighty God, and man per pursue what he, he needs, and the Lord gave it to him. Yeah, and in return, mighty God, he could call to God and that jar that river. Mm -hmm. My God, have to back up. I want to tell you that, mighty God, when Jordan may come sweeping down your stream, hallelujah, remember the God of Elijah. Hallelujah, he's the one that parted the water. He's the one that made the path straight. Hallelujah, will never come true for you. He will never fight your battle. You will never destroy your Goliath. You will never pull down your struggle. Mighty God. I shall will not die. I'm going to live to be clear as to fulfill my purpose in God. Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Sweet and high in my God. It's a wonderful feeling, my God, when you can give it all. Surrender your heart to God. Have a sweet communion with Him. Get to know Him. The fullness of His power and His direct direction for in your life. My God, as Elisha do. And we can see, my God, as, he, as he, he, Elijah, which, which performed 16 miracles, compared to he, Elisha 32, the double portion. My God, we can see portrayed his life because what his commitment, my God, determination, that it will not, cannot, and shall not die. My God, so, you know, as I look at the scripture when I. Get the scripture some times ago and this this um this topic refuse to die and when i get it you know i say refuse but how can one refuse to die when it's appointed but when you're looking through it brother you can refuse even natural death you can refuse to die of natural death not only spiritual death because what the bible said is that going about seeking women he may be divorced so he's a destroyer, he's a killer. Yeah. So you can refuse even the natural no. death with the devil wants to bring unto you. Amen. Because it's easy to kill us. Yeah. You know, I hear many preachers say the devil should have killed me when he get me, but that's a life from the pit of hell. Yeah. If the devil get the chance, he's gonna kill you. Yeah. And God doesn't give him the chance. Yeah. You know, so when one just stand that you say, devil, you should have killed me, he never get the chance. For yeah. you once get it, you can the Lord give him the chance with Job. To touch Job, he touched Job. So if he had for the chance to kill you, he going to kill you and the God give it. Mighty God. Holy Spirit, so we know what we are saying when we are talking about. You know, you have to know God. Hallelujah. So what we are saying is seek life, pursue life. Hallelujah. Mighty God. And we can see it displayed, you know, as, as the word even comes. Salvation is in the house. And the meaning of Elijah is salvation. Hallelujah. The deliverer is here. Yeah. My God, that means deliverance from sin, deliverance from anything that will stop you from living. That's right. So the deliverer is in the house. Yeah. And today I'm saying, let us pursue life. Hallelujah. The benefits of life. Mm. When we check out, my God, analyze the, the, the package of, of sin, mm. compare it to the benefit of life, what it brings. It brings hope, it brings joy, it brings peace, it brings forgiveness. It brings mighty God if we're going to live and reign with him forever. 
So I'm encouraging us, brethren, to pursue life, to seek life. Yes. Mighty God that Elisha did. And, if, and, and, and all of these miracles we could see. The, the, um, the Shinnamite woman, mighty God. And all of these, when, when they come to take her son, Holy Spirit. But my God, he, 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 he um, reached out um, to Elisha, the prophet, because it is something within him. Mighty God, that why the woman don't decide for her child or her children to die. So, as we are saying, refuse to die. Also, we should have that mindset that we are pursuing God and we have life, so we should also seek the life of others that we refuse him to let them die in their sin. When we know that there's a way of escape. When we know that there's a way where we can bring them in. You know, into the kingdom. So we refuse him to see sinners die. We refuse him to see our weak brothers and sisters die spiritually. Instead of criticize them and tear them down, my God, we should see the ways and means and means of life to what? To uplift them. To bring them back into the fold. Yes. So we are saying it's not just for us to refuse to die. Oh, but to care for our brothers and sisters. The life of the brothers and sisters. As did Elisha do. That was the desire that he had. Because he know the state. My God Jesus. My, I have Samaria. He know the, the condition. Yes. He know the barrenness. My dear God. That in chapter 2 to 3. I think chapter 3, 4. We speak of the, the land was dry and barren. No water in the land, Holy Spirit. But he prayed to God and said, you shall see neither rain nor dew. Oh my God. Mighty God, but the ditch is going to be filled. Yes, this is the God that we are talking about. This is the God that we serve. Hallelujah. It don't have to rain for him to bless. Hallelujah. It don't have to dew for the trench to fall. Mighty God, what we are saying, Holy Father, it don't have to be in a season time for you to be blessed. It's no, there's no certain season, no matter how barren it may look, no matter how dry it may look. But he's a God that, that is able to supply your need, that is able to give you a drink when you are thirsty. Mighty God. And what he said, he said, this is but a small thing for it. My God, that's the God that we serve, the God of life. You know, the God that's ready to supply your needs according to his riches and glory. And the trench were full of my God, and the people were here to drink of water. My God, this is God, that's life that we're talking about. All oh, the spirit we can see again. And then the time when the water was bitter, couldn't drink, poisonous. All oh, the spirit, what the man called for a salt. God for salt, which is a perfect preservation. Mighty God. During the time when we need, my God, some spiritual salt in our life to heal. Mighty God, our bitter water. At time life get bitter and sour, hallelujah. But we need to draw for that salt, hallelujah. Because what is preservation, holy father, mighty God. We give him praise, can we give him praise? Can we give him glory in the house? Can we worship and praise his name? Can we magnify and exalt him? Holy Father, my God, if he has been your healer, worship him. That being your king, give him the glory. Bless your name, Jesus. Lord, bless your name. Mighty God, that you're going to run through some of the lists, you know, of which Elisha performed, my God, in his ministry. Because what the man decided that refusing to die to carry out the work of the Lord, you know, he speak of making iron to swim. The man break the cycle of science. Yes. Hallelujah. Mighty God, break the cycle of science. Science say high and cannot swim. Holy Father. But we are talking about the God of life. No matter how the devil wants to drown you. He's here to make you swim above your water. No matter how he wants to put your hand up. He's here to lift you up. Hallelujah. My God, he break that cycle of science. My God, when the devil say no, he say yes. Mighty God. So when you want to go hand and push on the brother, sister, remember the God that you serve. That my God, it does not take, mighty God, the science to break the cycle, but it takes the spirit of the living God. It says, I am must 
I am going to go on that, but hallelujah. He said, when the devil say you are going on, he said, no, you are going home. You are coming home. Mighty God out of your gloom and doom. Because through the tunnel is dark, but at the end of it, there is a light shining for you. To bring you out, to bring you up, to take you over. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Lord. We glorify your name. We exalt and lift up your name. We speak of the revealing of the world secret. Hallelujah. When the king would plan and plot against the Israelites. You know, and somebody said, there is somebody in the camp which are betraying us. Yeah. My God, but someone said, no, I know. There is a man. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. There is a man. Can we find a man in the church? Yeah. My God, when the devil wants to deceive our brothers yeah. and sisters, when the devil wants to unleash his power in the camp, hallelujah. Can we find a man with stand? We know the secret of God. We know the works of the adversary. And stand against the forces of darkness. And to say, no, hallelujah. Can we find that man which have the determination to say, my God, we shall overcome. We shall triumph. We shall give ourselves as a living sacrifice. That the Lord can use us, he can reveal things to us. We can know the secret of the adversary. Crying for that man. There is a man, hallelujah. If you speak it in your bedroom, he pick it up. And that's where we want the church to be. When the devil wants to overthrow our brothers and sisters. Mighty God, we can pick it up. Hallelujah, the woman servant pick up the young miss. And I want to say to young miss, don't, don't be embarrassed. The Lord know what he's doing. Amen. Mighty God, this message is for you. Hallelujah. It's a refuse. Yes. Refuse to die. Yes. Choose life. Yes. My God, in that to embarrass you, but to bring you into life. Yes. My God, I will encourage you. See the package of life. Yes. Holy Father. Yes. Glorify your name, Lord. Yes. Give him worship. Yes. Yes. Give him worship in the house. Yes. To the worship in the house. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord. We glorify your name. We worship you, we praise you, we exalt you, Jesus. You are worthy, you are worthy. There is none like you, not before you, and after your Father. You are the great I am that I am, wonderful Savior. Mighty God, Prince of Peace, Conquering Savior. Lion of the truth, Judah, you are God all by yourself. Glorify you, we worship and praise you. We magnify your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. We lift up your name and I know the glory. Word is your Lord is worthy. Hallelujah, there is none like you, Jesus. There is no God like the Obia. Hallelujah. The Obia is your name, Lord. We glorify your name. Hallelujah. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you in this hour. Come in your might and in your power, Father. Thank you for healing every buried woman in the name of Jesus. Thank you for making spring out now at the in the name of Jesus. Thank you for blinding the height of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Thank you for God to ride in the Syrian trap in the name of Jesus. Thank you for hearing them hear the sound of chariot and of heartache. Hallelujah! We love us. Glory, Lord. Hallelujah! My God! Jesus, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. 
Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your anointing. Hallelujah. We glorify you in the name of Jesus. We worship you. Hallelujah. Give your praise for my sister. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Holy Spirit, that your purpose and your will be fulfilled in her life. Hallelujah. She will not be distracted by the circumstances of life. But she will push to press to in the name. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Push you, push you. My God. Hallelujah. He's coming to my sister. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We glorify you. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you worship. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you. We magnify you in the Lord. Thank you. Holy Spirit. My God. Holy Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Elisha, our main topic would be four lepers, hallelujah. Four lepers that were shut out of the city because of their condition. Holy God. And the word that was given by the man's servant to tomorrow at this time, you shall have food in abundance, hallelujah. But that the word went out there, somebody to doubt the power and the move of Almighty God. Somebody to discredit the man's prophecy. Mighty God, say, even if God would open windows in heaven. Holy Father. So while we are worshiping and praise and seeking, we are going to always have doubters. Hallelujah. Doubters. But can we bring that spirit of doubt today? That nothing stop us from eating the bread of life. Because when we are hungry, thirsty, and dry, and we pray and seek an ask of God, He will come to, He will supply the needs. So let us give no way, no space for doubt when God speaks that He's coming to, that He's going to do it. You know, and by the way of the poor leopard, my God, who decide that they are not going to sit here and die? My God, so hallelujah. Though their condition were one that they shouldn't be among, no one, they were shut out of the city. The, over, the city were surrounded by wall, high wall. And only way, you know, if you study some of the comments, they would say, only way they would eat somebody throw things over the wall or even garbage over the wall that they would get to heat. So that the condition that they were in. But they look into himself and say, you know, at my present state, I know that I'm not supposed to be among other people. But I'm not going to die in this present state. Whatever it takes to break the cycle. My God, I'm determined that I'm not going to sit here and die. My God, stigmatize, put out of society. But I refuse to sit here and die. My God, because what? The God who I serve, life or death, but I'm going to push through, I'm going to press through. And they take it up, my God, and went on their way to the Syrian camp. And so when you put faith to work, hallelujah, God will come true for you. Though they were sitting here and shut out, but they put faith in action. They make a move. Because I'm not going to sit here in this present state. I wasn't called for this, made for this. There's a purpose on my life. So I'm going to go into the devil's territory. I'm going to take back what he has stolen. 
My God, but he have rubber us up and go to take it back. And the Lord would have it that they hear the sound of chariots and horses. That the God that we serve, when we say we we choose life over death. So whether it take to sustain life, God, or to do it for you to, to, sustain, to sustain your life. Mighty God. And there we see the, the miracle that the Lord wrought. That they went into the enemy's camp. And that who, those who were shut out, who shut them out, they are the ones who were able to come and say, here is food, here is bread now. So when you are put down and shut out, if you remain faithful to God and know your God, you are the one who going to turn around to fulfill purpose what you have called for. You know, and they fulfill their purpose and they would go mighty God and they say when they eat and they say no man, they are going to eat and sit here. But they go back and share with the others. And so it is when we are called for God and we taste of his goodness, we taste of his love, of his mercy, of his forgiveness. We should not keep it to ourselves. We should be able to share it. Mighty God, we should share the love of God. We should not be selfish. They sit and they say, no, we cannot be selfish. Because our brothers and sisters, although they shut us out, but we are bringing back food for them. Mighty God, so what I'm saying, church, we taste of the love and the goodness of God. Let us share it. Let us go tell others about it. Sorry, I have to just chop it up because I want you to die. You know what we to see that when we are obedient to the call of God as Elisha did, what God can do in our life, He can change our circumstances. He can make whatever He has made us to be, once we are faithful to Him, to bring it to pass. Mighty God. As we see the spoken word of Elisha, tomorrow you shall have in abundance. I to God. Can we say and make a desire in our heart that as of today, I shall have abundant life and peace and strength and joy in the Holy Ghost. My to God. We shall have plenty when we seek Him. Holy Spirit. And as the word spoken and come to pass, they have plenty, my God. I don't think from Elisha day, any other, my dear God, any other finance minister who ever able to bring down inflation as what happened, you know, in Israel. Mighty God, cheap, almost for nothing. Mighty God, inflation went from a high of 100 to what almost zero. My God, because of what? The spoken word of the Lord. That the God that we serve, mighty God, is able to multiply and to turn, my God, your littleness to something of value and worth. Mighty God. So today, in closing, I want to encourage us that refuse to die. Mighty God. And Desire, but a desire, a determination that whatever it takes, I'm going to live to proclaim the works of the Lord. As with the prodigal boy, you know, he said, this, this is not where I belong. There are food in my father's house. So why sit here and die? My God, refuse. No, the pig pen didn't make for me. It made for pigs. Look into himself. I will arise. Can we today say, I will arise and fulfill my purpose to God Almighty. God bless you. Come on and pray for the name of Jesus come in the house of the Lord. Amen. It's food in the Father's house.
voice and give him thanks. Father, we praise you, we honor you, we thank you, Lord. You give us hope, my God, we shall not die. We shall not die. We live and declare your word. God, thank you for your word. Thank you for your servant. Thank you for this congregation. Thank you, my God, that you open our hearts to accept your word. Thank you for the work that the word is doing in our lives. My God, thank you for this hope and this peace and this joy. My God, that we shall not die. We're going to live and declare your works. Hallelujah. Give us the anointing. Give us the desire. Give us the forcefulness, Lord God, like these. My God, let us, in the name of Jesus, they will go. My God, knowing that you shall fight our battle. Father, we thank you that you change the laws of science to the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This time we take two testimonies, sisters, that we are not seeing that often. Praise his name. Praise his name. Just count right out here. Amen. Sister Richard, Sister Young. Oh, praise his name. Just come and share your testimony. Oh, praise his name. Amen. We'll be going right into discussion, not discussion, but of course, yes, amen, for our banquet, amen, praise his name. Anyone in the house today, we're glad for our sister that are so special among us, and I hope you realize that you're the special one here today. I hope you realize that. Just lift your hands and magnify God. Yes, my sister, just lift your hands and magnify God. You're the special one here today. Amen. Thank you, my sister. Amen. Praise God. Yes. Amen. Thank you for being here today. Praise his name. And I ask, amen, for everyone saved in the house, somebody go and minister to them right now. We are getting the testimony of our two sisters. Just come up, both of you come. Praise his name. Sister Richard, Sister Young. Praise his God. Come up. Share your testimony. Our young candidate that have started um, Sunday. Come along, brother Miles. Yeah, man. Let me share your testimony. Amen. Oh, praise his name. Oh, praise God. The one in the house that is not saved, somebody talk with somebody. Praise his name. And of course, my young brother Miles. Amen. Praise his name. God bless his Lord. Amen. God, only a man can testify like that. Come on, only a man can testify like that. Amen. Praise his name. Praise God. God is able. If you notice, it's a good 
wrong that we set this forth for time to listen to the scriptures and to pray. Amen. Oh, praise his name. It's the ritual. Sister Young, first of I hope you can change it from I was not there, but I'm here today with those friends, those encouragement. Well, it's good to speak from our heart, and as I said, real man speak and real man speak. Amen. And I'm not afraid of this testimony. I must if we pop up, we said if we can't prosper. Amen. But after this word, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise his name. Praise God. Amen. So my sister, amen. We are going to move over the side for a short while. Amen. Evangelist, talk with her. 
Amen. Praise God. And those are blessed. Those are blessed. Amen. Exalt and listen. Stay right where you are. Talk with you and encourage you. Oh, praise his name. Amen. Praise his name. Okay, my sister, you can sit right over beside Sister Williams. There. Okay. Yes, we are to look out for each other as was in the world. And God is searching for a man or woman that can discern, amen, and can see when the devil wants to kill and to destroy our brothers and sisters. Amen. Praise God. Amen.